Welcome back to Love Island The Game Season 2. We are on day 29. On day 29. Really, ice cream truck? It's fucking fall. It's not hot outside. I live in the north. What the fuck are you doing? I hate the hood. It's so ghetto here. <sighs> okay. Day 29 called Perfect Prom Night. It's prom. English people don't have prom. It's an American thing. They wanted to have prom on Love Island. Good for them. This episode is called Get and Loser. We're going shopping. We love a Mean Girls reference. I love Mean Girls. One of the best movies there is. Problematic, yes, but great movie. It's the day of the Love Island prom, but what dress will you wear to the ball? Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows what I'm going to wear? Are they going to have all the options? Or are they going to do me dirty? Like they usually do. Welcome back to Love Island. Yesterday, Gary put his cards on the table during the Islanders' final dates. When he asked Princess to be his girlfriend. And Princess said yes. I'm so happy. We're official. And in the evening, sorry if I'm like not into it right now. I'm just, I'm pressed. <laughs> I'm pressed, I'm trying not to be. And in the evening, the Islanders were all... We're all of a flutter when some new birds entered the villa. What do you want, Gareth? You cheated on your fiance with Lola. I feel like that did not happen. It did not happen in my playthrough of it. I did not accuse Lola and Gareth of being that way together. But today is a new day, and if there's one thing that puts our islanders in a good mood, it's a party. I'm so excited right now. I'm glad you're excited, Lottie. Love is for you. You wake up with a start. Your eyes flick open. What was I dreaming about? Was I winning Love Island? But who was next to me? What do you mean who was next to me? You take a deep breath and look around the room. Nobody else is awake. The only sound is the early morning bird song drifting from the outside. I wonder if that's Gareth I can hear. I don't give a fuck about these birds. Please stop this nonsense. You listen to the birds remembering the jokes from last night. It's so peaceful when everyone's asleep. You lie back down, feeling Gary shift slightly in his sleep as you move. After everything that's happened, it's quite nice to have a moment to myself. Your mind wanders and you start thinking about... Why the fuck would I think about Joe and Ibrahim? The big date yesterday, talking to Gary's parents. What? You know what? I think I would be thinking about Gary's parents. His one parent and his grandma. And his uncle apparently is there too. It won't be long before I have to meet them for real. I wonder how that will go. You shake your head. I can't think about anything going wrong now. We're so close to the end of the show. You look over at Gary. We made it together. He's exactly who I needed to meet. So beautiful when he's sleeping, not for one, but maybe that's okay. Got no idea about me and Noah. There's no me and Noah anymore. There's none. We're not entertaining that. Anyone. He's exactly who I needed to meet. Sometimes you don't know what you're missing until you find it. I wonder what's going to happen next for us. Your phone beeps from across the room, interrupting your train of thought. You hear covers rustling, and then Hannah sits up in bed and slowly rubs her eyes. She studies, the she studies the phone and frowns, her face lit up by the screen. She spots you looking. Good morning, princess. I have a text. Good for you. She's whispering across the beds to you. Okay. Hannah's awake. Whisper good morning back, ask her to speak up a bit, sing a happy morning song. I'm not gonna be annoying. Sup, bitch. Hannah grins when she hears you. I was worried you'd suddenly start shouting or singing or something. Why? I've never done that a day in my life. Hannah puts her finger up to her lips and points to him. I don't give a fuck about him. I'm gonna go over there right now and smother him in his sleep. Shh, he's dreaming. You hear Henrik mumble in his sleep. No, I don't want to eat all that soup. What? I don't want to wake him up. Wake him up? He's dreaming about soup. This text is just for us girls. She presses the phone to her chest and grins excitedly. How can we wake the girls up without disturbing the boys? 
We could sneak over to their beds and whisper softly, gently tap everyone on the shoulder, throw pillows at them. Which one would I hate the most? I mean, all of it, but like, don't wake me up. <laughs> Text me, that's how you wake me up. Soup Hendrick, Hendrick, oh my gosh. It's on the soup combo. Like we were yesterday talking about soup. We could, I guess, sneak over in their beds, whisper softly. Don't touch me if you're trying to wake me up. I'm gonna hate you forever if you touch me. Good idea. You go that way, I'll go this way. She gently lifts herself out of bed and tiptoes over to Lottie. You roll out of bed and sneak over to where Hope is sleeping. What's going on? We need to get up without waking the boys. Lottie sits up in bed. We need to do what? Babe, shh. We don't want to wake the boys. Why? I like it when the boys are awake. Of course you do, Lottie. Of course you do. Sometimes they make me coffee. You're gonna have to make your own coffee this morning, babe. Because we've got a secret mission. Hannah sneaks over to Chelsea's bed and shakes her awake. Why did you shake her awake? We just said we were gonna gently whisper. Why are you putting hands on my girl like that? Me, I'm glad I'm a boy so I can sleep in. I mean, sometimes the guys have like stupid shit they're doing too. What's going on? Hannah waits until all the girls are sitting up in their beds. Are you ready? You have to not scream when I read it out. Lottie raises her eyebrows. I can't get excited at all if you don't tell us what it is. Okay, here goes. Girls, you are going on a top secret shopping spree to find outfits for tonight's Love Island prom. You must leave the villa immediately without disturbing the boys. Hashtag shop till you drop. Hashtag prom night. Eep! Chelsea covers her mouth with her hand. I know, right? She's whispering. It's prom night. And we're going dress shopping. The Love Island prom... What's amazing? Do we get to dress up? What's the big What's the big deal? Did you guys go to your prom? For my American viewers, did you go to prom? I went to my junior prom. Um, it was very sad. <laughs> I was very sad. I was on my period too. Oh my god. The boy I asked to prom said yes, and the next day he was like, actually, I wanted to go to prom with your friend. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Sure. I don't I don't mind. I, had, I was being so cool about it, but like my heart was so broken. And then I didn't go to my senior prom because I was having family issues. <laughs> and it was just, it was a lot. And then the guy that I liked at this time, we, I don't know what was happening with us. We were really like, beefing for no reason. And it was all his fault. It wasn't mine at all. <laughs> it was not mine at all. Like, yeah, I should have talked to him. But like, he could have talked to me too. There's plenty of times for him to talk to me but he just like, never talked to me so it's like okay whatever do you never had an interest i had an interest because you know me i like attention <laughs> not that i was ever gonna be like prom royalty or anything i was not popular i was very awkward um i still am very awkward but it was just like yeah i mean i went to a very small school too well the first high school i went to was huge but the second high school i went to small so it wasn't like anything like major but i definitely was not i was not popular at all <laughs> i was very much a loser but yeah i don't know i always wanted to go to prom with like someone that wanted to go to prom with me but you know i just said that never happened so there we go moving on um it's a prom what's not to love I can't wait to wear something really fancy. They don't even have- Love Island prom isn't even like real prom because you don't even get like prom royalty. There's no like royal court or anything or like a bunch of people. It's just like 10 people. That's a suck ass prom. But went one year because friend at the time was going, everyone else in the group were acquaintances at best. Hmm. Interesting. And then my dad dropped me off at prom and I was like, I had to get him- I called him to come get me early because I was like, I want to go home. <laughs> I was like in the bathroom crying. I can't wait to wear something really fancy. I love wearing a bikini, but if I get the opportunity to get into something glamorous. Okay, you guys. I know I'm usually kind of a downer in the group, but I'm so excited right now. 
a long dress is like my choice of outfit it says my outfit of choice but you got what i mean i know it's kind of old-fashioned but if i could i just wear one all the time okay mariah carey we see you like just around the house babe have you ever tried it in british talk a prom is a paved public walk so maybe that's what they mean i have never heard of that where'd you get that information from song i want to know i want to check your facts i'm joking <laughs> but that is very interesting i've never heard of that though sometimes if i've got to do the washing up or something i'll just go for morticia adams and rock the black mermaid cut i have to put my washing up gloves on over the top but even then it's the best I'm so glad I'm not the only one who's excited about this. I'm just imagining standing on that lawn with Henrik. I'm gonna be wearing a chiffon 1920s ball gown. Henrik will be wearing a classic tux and spats. Spats? Spats, you know, those shiny shoes men used to wear. They're dreamy. I just Googled prom to see if they were using it right because it's just high school thing, but not just call it a party is it because they already had a ton of parties i guess they just wanted to make it special in some way he's more chill than that Cla wait henry is a classic tux filled in a ta Ugh, i cannot read that. i'm sorry Henry in a classic tux feels wrong he's more chill than that i mean i could see him like dressing up for something important prom we're not in high school doesn't feel important to do <laughs> but not go off also, do you hear this children's training? Is it? Should they be out of school right now? I feel like they should definitely still be in school right now. I don't know why they're just screaming down the street. Babe, I know what they are. She sighs. I think I'm going to be lucky to get Bobby into any kind of smart shoes. A picture of dress shirt and jacket situation, not a tux. Yeah, yeah. That seems more Henrik's vibe. Dress shirt, jacket, not a tux. Can you imagine? He's just gonna be like, why don't these shoes have any colors on them? Babes, don't treat him like he's five. Man doesn't wear blinky shoes. I think he'd rather wear clown shoes and spats to be honest. Oh my god, not her. Like, I don't like Bobby. I'm the first person to not like Bobby, but you don't gotta clown him like that, calling him a clown. I mean, she does the same thing with Gary, so. Bobby's just a hater all around. Gary rolls over beside you. What's going on? What should I say? We're just chatting. What about? Hannah interrupts you before you can say anything else. Just girly stuff. Nothing you need to worry about. All right, then. He pulls a duvet over his head. You can hear soft snoring almost immediately. I know she'll probably wear a cute frilly dress, but Chelsea in a pink tuxedo would be great. You know what? That would be. Chelsea would rock that. It was like sparkly and pink. She would she would own that. I I see it. I see it. And high heels. Mm-hmm. There's a rustle of bed sheets as all the girls get up as quietly as possible. Come on, ladies, let's go dress shopping. Oh my gosh, look at this place. And not them having me in the bikini I wore yesterday. She starts humming to herself and twirls around the shop in an elegant pirouette. Chelsea watches her, then wanders around the edge of the shop, touching the dresses that catch her eye. Me. Me. I feel like I live my entire life in yoga pants. I love getting glammed up for a night out, but I don't know what I'll do with a dress like these. How am I gonna choose? Embarrassing Hannah? Wait, what happened to Hannah? Why is she embarrassing? I'm not all here right now. I had my... My drug treatment today so one i'm not here i usually try not to stream on days where i get my treatment but you know some things happen this way and that's just the way the cookie crumbles I always think you've got two options when it comes to dress shopping either you dress for your person who's gonna see it or you just make yourself feel fabulous now why the fuck would i dress for some man when he's not wearing it i'm wearing that dress so i'm gonna dress how i want to dress He's gonna have to exist. 
You just have to exist about it. Isn't she wearing such stealing your swimsuit look from yesterday? I mean, kind of, but not really. I wore it, the one I'm currently wearing is the one I wore yesterday. But I do have a swimsuit that looks similar to that, but like red, so. She is kind of embarrassing. She wants to be me so bad, you know? Exactly what I was going to say. I want no one to think I look majorly hot, but the best way of doing that is to find something that makes me feel amazing. I'm not sure I even know what kind of thing Lucas would like. It's not exactly the first thing on the conversation list in there, in here, is it? I mean, I can tell you what Lucas would like. I know Lucas is tight. I'd love it, love it. I'd love if it was. Oh my fucking god, I'm so tired of life right now. She turns to Hannah. Hiya, babe. Nice to meet you. What's your name? What's your type on paper? And what's your favorite type of formal dress? Hannah is holding an armful of dresses to try on. All of them. Lottie and Hannah collapse into laughter together. Hope nudges you. So I guess these two are fine now? I mean, are we fine now? Are we fine now, Hope? Because why are you talking to me? I thought we weren't fine, but you keep acting like we're fine. And then one moment you're like, actually, no, we're not fine. So pick, pick a side. Do you like me now or do you hate me? Because I don't give a fuck about Lottie and Hannah's relationship. Lottie and Hannah seem to be getting on. They were always going to be fine. It's nice to see them happy. Uh, they were always going to be fine. It just took some time. Remember how quickly they bonded when we first came to the villa? I don't think anything was going to get in the way of that. You watch as Lottie and Hannah disappear in the dressing room together. Oh my gosh. Han, not that one. You look like someone out of a Jane Austen novel. I know. I love it. Now... Song, I know you don't wear dresses. Or maybe you do. Maybe you do wear dresses. I don't know what you look like, really. Do you wear dresses? Because I know you're a guy. Well, you know, guys can wear dresses. Do you have a favorite kind of dress? Because I like ball gowns. Like the poofy ones, but not like too poofy. But I really like ball gown dresses. I think they're so pretty. And that's definitely what I'm going to wear if I ever like have a wedding. I'm gonna get a ball gown dress. I'm just imagining it now. Like, not me getting married, but like me in the dress. It's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. I look like a Disney princess. Anyway, what kind of dress are you gonna choose, princess? The big question. What do you think Gary will like? I don't give a fuck what Gary will like. He'll like me in anything I wear. I wanna wear something elegant and feminine, all out princess, smart and sultry, all out princess. I think Gary prefers things a little more casual. Well, Gary can shut the fuck up about what he likes. He can wear whatever he wants to wear, okay? I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear. And he's gonna like it. And I'm gonna like it. And we're gonna be okay. So mind your fucking business, Hope. I like flowy clothing in general, so yeah, I wear dresses and skirts and sometimes... Sometimes... Okay. I mean, I, I understand that. Sometimes I don't like it. I feel like it's too much. I like my clothes like baggy, but then I also like them tight at the same time. <laughs> it's very odd. It's a very odd thing. But if you want to feel fabulous, you go for it. Okay, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. Lottie bursts out of the dressing room. Okay, Lottie. Act, are you here? Are you seeing this? You're missing it. You're missing an act. You guys have to get in here. It's so much fun. Like she's, what she's wearing is just like, what is it? What is, spider web? It's just black spider web. That's all she's wearing. Let's go see what we've got. Oh, okay. So this is what they're doing. They're only giving you the free option. Interesting. Like I told you, this game definitely has more clothing options. They just, I don't know, the game's just like fucking falling apart now. That they're not like maintaining it because they've moved on to a different app. So now there's no other clothing options. But you know what? Fine. Fine, 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 fine. I'll wear the free one. I'll wear the free one. So you like parachute shorts and tights underneath. I wear baggy and tight. Um, hmm. No. Hate tights. <laughs> So, more like tight bottoms, baggy shirt. Yeah. 
So like I like big shirts and I like tighter fitting like bottoms. Princess, you look amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Hannah. You look you look cute too. I'm not sure about those shoes, but you know, go off queen. I wish we could wear these every day. Are you guys sure about this? I feel so look at Chelsea. Oh, she's so cute. She did her hair up. She's adorable. I don't know. It doesn't feel like me. Babe, you look incredible, doesn't she? She always looks so good. She does. She looks amazing. Hope looks good too. I don't know how she did her hair like that that quickly, but no. Okay, Hope. What should I say to Chelsea? Um, it's perfect. It's perfect, girl. Thanks, babe. Remind me of that when I have to put this on again later. What? We don't get to wear them all day? Why would you want to? They're so uncomfortable. I do, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of wearing dresses, really. It's just, I just feel too exposed. Even though I want to, I don't think we should. I love it, but I can guarantee Bobby will get cake batter or something on it if I wear it around him. You, you act like he's constantly baking. He's not baking that much. Also, I agree. Hope does look amazing. I don't know how she got her hair like that that quickly because, you know, her hair was in braids. So I don't know. I don't know what she did, but, you know, go on, queen. Where would he even get that from? I don't know. I think he, like, produces it. It seeps out of his pores. You're telling me this man sweats he sweats cake batter that's wild lottie's right how well hopefully not about bobby but we should take these off before we head back okay okay good the surprise will be so much better when the boys see us this evening there's a murmur of agreement and a swish of fabric as the girls get ready to leave like i wish i could have shown you the other palm outfit options but like i said this game is such a hater it just won't it just won't Hope stops as soon as she walks into the villa. Hold up. Wait a second. Oh, I forgot there's a timed event. I have to pay attention. She stares out at the lawn. All the boys are standing facing away from you. In a line. He watches they each step forward, then to the left, then backwards together. What's going on? They twirl on the spot and then repeat the steps again. This is so strange. What do you think they're doing? Isn't it obvious the boys are practicing their dance moves, performing a prepara preparing for a ritual, forming a synchronized swimming troop. They're practicing their dance move. Lottie looks so hot too. Oh, not so hot. She just looks hot too. Sorry, I didn't, didn't mean add words to your mouth song. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, she does. She looked good. Wasn't a fan of the dress, but like, she looked good. Oh my gosh, for the prom this evening? Yeah, that must be it. I'm glad they're working hard at it. I've been worrying about Henrik's dance moves all evening. I know I'll be so disappointed in the boys' looks, but I want to believe. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> you don't think he's got the moves? He always comes across as quite nimble to me. Normally, I'd agree with you, but... The other day we were in bed, saucy exactly and just as things were getting interesting i swear he tripped over his own feet he tripped in bed you've never tripped in bed before happens all the time i don't even know how he managed it he was lying down it happens to the best of us hannah you turn your attention to the boys and watch as henrik tries to appear away he spins in a half circle then wobbles and crashes into bobby Sorry, mate. Bobby grabs onto Noah to stop himself from falling. Watch it. Bobby and Noah are face to face staring at each other. Well, this looks exciting. What are you trying to do? We're practicing our dance moves, babe. Can't you tell? Henrik attempts another spin and barges Noah. Oh, that's what you're all doing? Come dance with me, babe. We all got a secret message about practicing our dance moves for the prom this evening. I guess it's not really a secret anymore. Some of us are better dancers than others, though. Noah and Bobby look at Henrik. It's taken me ages and I still haven't gotten it right. Mate, 
I've noticed. We've been getting pretty up we've been getting pretty up close and personal every time you step the wrong way. Hope grins at the boys. Show us the moves then. Noah takes up a position facing Bobby and they put their arms around each other. I'm leading this time. Wow, he got a real grip on you, Bobby. You're a lucky girl, Hope. Noah leads Bobby across the lawn, guiding him through the steps. That's it, and now the final spin. Bobby steps out uh, for the spin and turns the wrong way, rolling right into Noah's arms. You two make a good couple. But you know, you're supposed to end with a kiss, right? Not Lottie always planning this homosexual stuff. I mean, we love to see it, but you don't gotta plot it, Lottie. Just let it happen naturally. Er, Lottie wants Bobby and Noah to kiss. It's a perfect into a dance. Go with how you feel. You don't have to if you don't want to. Go with how you feel. I'm feeling pretty close to you right now, Noah. But you might have to show a bit more enthusiasm if you want me to put out. Oh, hey, it's Lucas. He's still alive after all. I told you, he's still here. He's not important anymore, but he's still here. What? Like this? Noah winks and leans in. They gently press their lips together for a second and then pull away. I like I like how Hope didn't have anything to say about that, but she had something to say about me and Noah. That's all I gotta say. That's all I gotta say. OMG, amazing. Gay. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it is a little bit, you know. You're not a bad kisser, to be fair. I didn't think you'd go for it. We've been dancing together for an hour anyway. He turns to Lottie. I wouldn't mind having a go with you though, babe. The tech said we're supposed to be teaching this dance to you girls after all. May I have this dance? We've all got to do it later. We've all got to dance. Let's get started then. I hope you've been practicing. I don't want to dance in front of everyone. I honestly, I don't want to dance in front of everyone. I hate it dancing in front of people. Hope is like, it's with a boy, so it's a joke and doesn't count. Okay, Hope. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she is. I feel like, I feel like, you know, I feel like Hope's kind of a little homophobic. You didn't hear it from me, but that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, let's get started then. I love how eager you are, but you haven't seen Gary try it yet. Why do you speak to yourself? Why do you speak about yourself in a third person? That was weird. As if you can talk. Well, I'm good at this. Princess is going to be impressed. You've got to remember the steps. Let me show you. Gary wraps one arm around your waist and takes your hand with his other arm. I gotta focus for this part. I gotta remember the steps. All the boys do the same with third partners. Are you girls ready? You totally got this down now. You're all gonna get this in no time. It's just step forward, left, back, left, right, feet together, and spin. <clears throat> you relax and let Gary guide you as he shows you the moves. His body presses gently against yours and his breath is warm on your cheek. The other couples all twirl around you as one. The quiet sounds of practice movements last about 10 seconds. That's my foot, babe. Sorry, did you go right instead of left? Body steps back and narrows her eyes at Bobby. Babe, you went right. No, I didn't. It's forward, left, back, left, right, feet together, and spin. Yeah, and which way is right? Bobby points to his right. Babe, I'm facing you. That's my left. Oh, yeah. You're right. No, she's left. Shut up, Henrik. Gary shakes his head at you. Shall we just have a little practice while these guys figure it out? I reckon we've got this down, haven't we? Um, have we got this? Of course we have. Yes, babe, I love that confidence. Hopefully I remember and I don't fuck up. He wraps his arm around you again. Ready? What was the first move? Um, forward, right? That's it. We're gonna, we're gonna smash this. He gently guides you with a hand on the small of your back and eases you into the rhythm of the movements. I love bling. I love blinging. Wow. I love being close to you like this. Do you remember what comes next? It's left. I know it's left. Is it left right or left back? 
I think us left and back. You move in harmony, gliding through the steps. You're so good at this. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised I remembered at all, considering I just took ketamine. You look around at the other couples. Bobby and Lottie are still gesturing and arguing about which way to step. Okay, next bit. Um, so we went left back. Is it left right? I'm gonna say left and right. That's it. Ooh, okay, good. Gary gracefully guides you through the next steps. It's so beautiful when we move together. I don't think I ever really get how much fun dancing could be. Are you for the big finish? What was the last bit? Feet together, then spin. Feet together, then jazz hands. Stop, drop, and roll. That's when you're on fire, isn't it? Feet together, then spin. You feel Gary take your hand and spin you around, then pull you back into his arms. I think we've got this down. Make an incredible team. Okay, I can read your messages now. I need to, <laughs> I need to focus for a little bit. Oh, I saw Henrik and Gary in that description and thought they were doing it to each other too. Giant pink potato chip? What? Oh, okay. You were talking about the bean bag. <laughs> I was like, giant pink potato chip is the bean bag. You thought they were dancing together? No, Gary said he was dancing with me. Lottie looks at her phone in surprise. I hope you've all had enough practice because one more th there's one more thing we all need to do to get ready. Islanders, you will each give a speech tonight about how much your partner means to you. Lottie, Hannah, Chelsea, Hope, and Princess, please head to the bedroom to write your speeches. Hashtag from the heart, hashtag love is in the air, hashtag my type on paper. We've got a speech to write? Writing romantic speeches? This is the best bit. Can we go shopping again instead? This day is just getting worse. This is the best bit. I agree. Writing a speech is our chance to put our feelings into words and tell someone how they really make us feel. I mean, I'm I'm indifferent, honestly. It's just, I didn't like the other options. I mean, I can write speeches. I can write little love letters, little love notes. I think I'd like that, honestly, in real life. You know, some people aren't, like, romantically inclined, and you gotta accept people for who they are. Lottie looks at Bobby. How am I supposed to do that? I, was, I look at Bobby and all I see is this fit guy who makes me laugh. Is that what you see? You think he's fit? Is that romantic enough? I mean, I don't know. Ask, ask Bobbert. I'm so lucky to have you. I guess, I guess that's it. That's enough. I'll help you. This is totally my thing. Come on, ladies. Let's go and turn those feelings into words that flower on the page. Hannah, just because you want to be an author does not mean you get to boss people around about how they write their own speeches, okay? I'm never gonna give- I'm never gonna live up to what you write, babe. Henrik and Hannah together just- they don't- they don't go together. These couples- every single couple here is whack. You love romantic acts? I do too. I only think it's the small things, and I was thinking about that today. I was thinking about, like, my first boyfriend, and, like, he stole me a flower off somebody's, like, bush, and he gave it to me, and, like, it was sweet, yes, but I don't like flowers, and I asked him for a candy bar. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, I think about that moment a lot, and, like, hmm, should I just appreciate it that he got me something, or was I, like, in the wrong? I think about that moment, I'm like, am I just, am I being difficult? Should I be, like, more easy to please? But then I'm like, you know what? I have standards. I told him what I wanted, and he didn't get it for me, and he got me something else that I don't like. While it was sweet, it's just like, okay, so you don't fucking listen. I don't know. I just think about moments like that a lot. Anyway. <laughs> There's a pile of blank sheets of paper and pens on one of the beds. Song, what is your favorite romantic act? What would you like to have done for you as an act of romance? There's a pile of blank sheets of paper and pens on one of the beds. Yes, I read that. Hannah grabs them and hands them out to everyone. 
it's like being back in school. I spent my whole time at school writing love letters th to boys I fancied. Didn't you? Yeah, 100%. I did that all the time. I also wrote fan fiction. <laughs> so, you know, I was all about it. I was all about it. I used to write terrible song lyrics. I also did that too. I used to write song lyrics as well. They were mostly about boys I liked though. Mine weren't. My song lyrics was not about that mostly. Babe, then you've got this. She turns to you. Do you know what you're gonna start with? Going to start? Do you know how you're gonna start yours? Oh my gosh, why can I read? Why is my brain not processing? How should I start? Hey you. Honestly, that's how I would start. I would start like that. But I want Gary to know that he is my one and only. He doesn't know that I was being sneaky behind his back. But if he finds out, I want him to know that he is my one and only. Perfect. That will make Gary feel special. He should feel special. Because he's with me. The most important thing about writing something like this is that it really captures what's in your heart. Why don't you try saying something poetic about Gary? Can you help me too, Han? Hannah bounces off and looks over Hope's shoulder. Yeah, go help her. Get out of my business. Something poetic that shows how I feel about Gary. Your smile lights up a room. I've never felt this way before. Your voice is like an angel's harp. You're well fit. Um, I'm gonna say I've never felt like this before. You scribble lines on the paper because you know I don't want him to be I don't want to like talk about his looks because like he's hot but like looks aren't everything like he he knows he's hot but he doesn't know he's hot but he's hot I told him he's hot we love him I love his little booty you know if he couldn't find what you were looking for and still wanted to get you something sweet then it could still be romantic as long as it just wasn't just laziness oh man what a question I gotta think about it I mean like yeah but me and him had like a lot of issues anyway i told you about him he's the one that gave me the ick with him picking spinach off of his off the pizza that my brother bought for me like response no it's cool it's cool i understand that people are are doing things other than like watching me it's okay to multitask i'm not upset you scribble lines down on the paper that's great he'll love it chelsea looks up from her paper I don't think it would- I didn't think it would be this difficult. I know I like Lucas, but how do I tell him that? It's so much harder to write stuff when it's not for a wall hanging. <laughs> Chelsea, just use a whole bunch of quotes. You love quotes. I remember the first time I saw Noah. Why don't you try something about that? Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah. Me and him had a lot of issues. <laughs> But, you know, I came out of that relationship feeling more confident about myself. So, like, that was a good thing about us. <laughs> I hope he's doing well. I don't really know. I haven't really, like, talked to him or anything. He did, like, message me last year. Which was weird. I was like, okay. Like, not anything, like, trying to get back together or anything. He was just like, oh, hey. I was like, hey. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Noah. Why don't you try something about that? That's a good idea. Something about when we first met. The first time I saw you, I knew we were made for each other. I thought you'd never go for me. I didn't fancy you straight away. Well, that's not true. I definitely fancied him straight away. I knew we were made for each other. I hope he feels the same way. Like I said, like I've always said, playa sees playa. Gary's a playa, I'm a playa, and we playing together. After that, maybe I should say something about how we got to know each other in the villa. I feel like we really connected during the first night we shared a bed. Our first day was a couple of the baby challenge. That's so late in the game. First night we shared a bed. That'll make a good story if I don't give too many details. The only sound in the room is the scratching of pins on paper. How's everything do- how's everyone doing? Babe, don't forget to write your speech too. I can pretty much quote my favorite romantic books from memory. I'll say a bunch of stuff from one of those. Are you guys done already? I love how Hannah is just like, yeah, I can just pull something out of my ass. Don't worry. 
I'm not. Don't forget to end with something really romantic about how they make you feel. That's a good idea. You make me feel like I can be myself, like I found what I was looking for, like a natural woman, like loving you. Like I can be myself. I think that's what's really important in a relationship, that you feel that you can be yourself. And you don't have to like shrink yourself or like try to be someone else. I think that's really important in a relationship. Kind of plagiarizing, she really is plagiarizing. <laughs> She out here stealing. And I can't wait for our future together. I'm most looking forward to meeting your friends and family, moving in together, finally spending a night alone with you. I'm looking forward to moving in together, we're living together forever. Though show I'm thinking about what's next. Why is Hannah <laughs> Why is Hannah Hope Chelsea? and my face looking surprised shocked and then lottie's just frowning i must be nearly done now how should i finish it i'm so glad i'm your girlfriend i can't wait to see what the future holds you've made me so happy i love you i'm gonna end up with i love you i'm gonna end up with an i love you hannah comes to look over your shoulder as you're finishing up um can you stop peeping you're not my teacher go sit down somewhere that's perfect. I'm so excited for Gary to hear it later. Babe, don't say that. Princess's ego couldn't handle it. Shut up, Lottie. She knows me, though. As you're checking your speech, Kassam walks into the room. Whoa. Whoa. Why is Kassam here? What are you doing here? This is private. Sorry. I was just hoping one of you could help me. <laughs> I'm just not very good at this stuff. Princess has, princess has finished, she could help you. So this is supposed to be, technically, this is supposed to be Gary. Yes, this is a glitch. But because Gary is with me, this is supposed to be Bobby. So I'm supposed to help Bobby write a speech for Lottie here and not Kassam. I do not know why Kassam is here. <laughs> what a turn of events. She turns to you. Just help him like I helped you, babe. You didn't help me at all, Hannah. You didn't help me at all. Would you help me write my speech for Lottie? This might be fun. I can make sure he says something Lottie will really like. Or I can mess with him and make Kassam's speech hilarious. Should I help Kassam write his speech? Eye candy for you, at least? I mean, yeah. I miss Kassam. That's my baby boo. That's my other husband. Like, me me bobby and gary we're in a we're in a poly relationship i have brother husbands bobby asked me for help is cute though very bobby is it because bobby wouldn't ask for shit if he was with me he would just write the speech this is like a gary this is technically a gary thing should i help kasam write his speech of course i'll help you i don't have time right you know what kasam just because you showed up and it wasn't bobby i'll help you write the speech thanks so much princess Shall we take this somewhere else? I don't want to ruin the surprise for Lottie. <laughs> sure. A warm breeze brushes your skin when you step outside. I really appreciate you helping me. I was worried this would be a bit awkward between us. You know, because we've kissed. <laughs> what is this? What is this? this? This should not be happening right now. I just really wasn't sure what to say. Well, Hannah has been helping me, and she told me the most important thing is to... What was Hannah's advice? Think about what your partner likes. Be as poetic as possible. Don't try and be romantic. Um, she said, think about what your partner likes or something like that. That's really good advice. I just wish I was better at that. I think it's easier once we get started. Okay, so what should I say first? Why don't you just start with something about Lottie? How she, how does she make you feel? I'm so clueless with this. She'd want me to say something funny, right? Cause um, you don't strike me as the funny person. But you know, if you if you think you can pull off a joke, go for it. Lottie does like a good laugh, but I don't have to tell him that. What should I say? Open with a joke. Okay, I'm glad you're here. I could have really got that wrong. And then maybe I should say something about how she's always the center of attention. Well, that's not true. At least he's realized that much. <laughs> I'm obviously the center of attention. 
But, you know, okay, if you're not noticing me, glad I didn't pick you then, because I'll... Should I tell him? That's, that's totally right. Go on. Go on. Tell her about how she has a fat head. Maybe I'm better at this than I thought. And then, what about this? I love how you're so active and always working out. Well, that's not true at all. I've never seen her do a real workout. Does he know her at all? No, he doesn't. Should I tell him the truth? You know what, I will. I will, because Lottie's my friend even though I stole her man. Even though I stole Lottie's man, she's still my friend. Maybe, yeah, it's not good for a speech. And then I bet she'd love if I said something super romantic to end on. Lottie? Romantic? You know what, Lottie is a romantic. What planet is he on? I think you should end with... Something really, and it's something really loved up. Do it, do it. She loves it when guys are romantic. Sam is frantically scribbling on his paper. You're the best, princess. I couldn't have done this without you. I can't wait for Lottie to hear the speech later. The door bursts open and Lottie sticks her head out. Are you two done yet? You need to come hear this text. Why did she pop out? Why didn't anyone else come get us? Cause like we were writing that for Lottie, so why did she come out? That's being so nosy. She's she was listening. You walk back in just as Hope is reading from her phone. Guys, you need to hear this. Ladies, you've brought your outfits, practiced your moves, and written your speeches. Now it's time to get dressed up and get ready for the Love Island prom. Hashtag get frocked. Hashtag have a ball. All the girls jump up and down in excitement. It's party time! Coming up, as if those excited screams didn't make it clear, it's the Love Island prom. The recipe for love is simple. Down on me, ooh. What, what, ooh. I don't know how I feel about that title for this episode. That's an interesting title. Learn the moves for the Love Island prom and nail that first dance. I thought we already learned the moves. Don't make me have to redo them again, please. Please don't. Welcome back to Love Island. This evening, it's the Love Island prom and the Islanders are more than excited. A hedgehog. Wearing running shoes? What is happening? I don't know, give me a break, it's been a long summer. That was such an awkward narrator thing. I didn't like that. Excited for this one? You're excited for this one? Yay, good, glad you're excited for this one. Because this is the episode that Lottie leaves. <laughs> Droplets of Hannah's Glitter Rush body spray hang in the air and sparkle in the light. Ooh, pretty. A taste of perfume settles on your tongue as you open your mouth. Oh, shit. Yeah, sorry. Did I ruin that for you? <laughs> Probably shouldn't have said anything, but I've been waiting on this episode. Ugh, I wish I hadn't breathed that in. It's strange, isn't it, babes? There's only five of us in here now, but it still feels like the room is full. Yeah, because there definitely shouldn't be more than like three people in here. I love how it feels that way. It's like our friends are still with us on the last bit of the journey. Yeah, oh my god, Marisol. Marisol could be here. You know, if I was on a Marisol route. Marisol's prom outfit is hot as fuck. Like, that alone would just make me want to do a marisol route she grabs a bottle of, she grabs a bottle and spritz a cloud of mist in front of her the whole room is filled with the scent of pineapples ew if kasam can be here then so can marisol <laughs> never give up i mean we don't need her here <laughs> keep believing see this is like priya's presence hannah walks over fiddling with something and look what i just found she puts a poker chip on the table. A thick Miley. Shannon, I miss you, my girl. That must have been Shannon's. That's weird, because why did Shannon bring poker chips to Love Island? Like, I get that you're a professional poker player, but that's, that's kind of weird, my dude. I know, right? I'm going to keep it for good luck. Don't. That's my best friend's poker chip. Give that to me. I wish I had that shirt she used to wear. It always felt like I could rock that. Ma'am, the way your titties would be all out in that shirt she had. 
thick Miley is thick Miley because she's thick. You are not thick, Lottie. You're hot, but you're not thick. The shirt would not look the same on you as it does on her. Damn, Marisol hot? Yeah, Marisol. Marisol's cute. Like, I actually really like Marisol. She's annoying, like, if you're not on her route. Like, even on her route, she's a bit annoying. But, like, if you start dating her, she's really, she's a really good love interest. I'm still finding Marisol's empty coffee cups everywhere. I've always thought she's fine. <laughs> okay, good. I mean, I think, like, almost every single love interest in this game is very attractive. And then they change the style. And just make the ugliest ass people. You think you've got them all, and then you lift up a pile and close a pile of clothes, and there's another one. Y'all still finding Marisol's cups? It's been like days now. I like it that we can all share the space. I like it that we all share the space and all our stuff is mixed together. I don't. I don't want my stuff getting mixed with you guys' stuff. I want all of my things, thank you. I'm not so sure. See, Hope gets it. I lost a pair of shoes weeks ago, and I only found them the other day. Oh my god. Are these the ones that I hid from her? Under someone else's towel, as usual. Those are the ones that I hid from her. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Whoops, I didn't think it would take her so long to find those. <laughs> Damn. It feels like we're a little family. I could still watch you guys on telly after I got dumped, but it wasn't the same. And now I'm back. It's like I never left. Oh no. It definitely feels like you did leave. She pauses and her brow furrows. It would be nicer if the boys were here too. We'll see them in like a second. Calm down. In our dressing room? Babe, I'm glad they hardly ever come in here when we're getting ready. It would spoil the magic. Yeah, I agree. It's going to be so much more special when we see them for the first time and they're all dressed up. Do you think this will be the last time we all do this together? Yes. Yes, 100%. This will be the last time I'm getting dressed with all of you in the same room. It might be, you know, tomorrow's the final. And then we won't see each other again, at least until the reunion we were chatting about. But I don't know if we all get ready together when we do that. Will this be the last time we all get ready together? Um, <laughs> this is the last time. <laughs> what if I said that? We're not getting ready tomorrow. We'll meet up after the show. Are we not getting ready tomorrow? Well, yeah, of course we are. But it won't be the same. Tonight is our last night in the villa together. Our last party. Well, then we'd better make sure it's a good one. You're right. Let's get out there and make this the best night ever. Oh, that looks nice. Hannah shivers as you walk as you all walk outside. The garden is decorated with flowers and lights and there's a big arch in the center. Oh gosh, look at these decorations. Isn't it magical? I want to live in the world like this forever. These decorations are they're stunning. I'm not gonna kill your vibe, Hannah. Lolly, we might not see each other after tomorrow. You don't need to worry about that, sweetheart. <laughs> why don't why does she need to worry about that song? Why can't she worry about it? Even I have to agree on this one, girls. I might have done it in different colors, but what an amazing sight. It feels like tonight is going to be a special night. Babe, you haven't even seen the best bit of it yet. She points down the garden. The boys are standing in a line waiting for you. He says she leaves tonight, like this episode, right? Yeah, I mean, we know that, but she doesn't know that. Oh wait, is this not the end of today? I'm stupid. No, it, it's, it's gonna be today. The next episode, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah, tomorrow will be the last Love Island episode, and then next week we will do, um, the reunion episode and then the week after that we're gonna do the chelsea murder mystery um stuff just letting you know but yeah this week the end of the season that's why i'm subtly preparing <laughs> you're so you're subtly prepping her for it okay <laughs> i mean don't don't crush her feelings though 
That's my job. <laughs> the boys are standing in line waiting for you. Oh my gosh, it's even better than I was expecting. You notice Noah first. Why? His shirt is spotless white, and his suit fits perfectly. He looks at you, and you can see him smile at you before he wanders over to Hope and gives her a kiss. I didn't think you could look this smart, Bobby, but I'm really impressed. There's a whole lot you don't know about me yet. Okay, Bobby. Okay, I'll let you crush your dreams <laughs> this time. <laughs> okay, I'll let you crush her dreams the next time, Song. I'm looking forward to finding out. Gary steps forward to greet you as you walk down the garden. You look incredible. I'm so lucky. Oh, thank you for thinking I look incredible in the free outfit. It's the first time you've ever said anything like that to me. His hands wrap around your waist and he purses his lips, leaning in for a kiss. What a special night. Kiss him. He kisses you passionately. Oh, okay. You close your eyes and enjoy the moment. Everything is quiet for a moment. You look around at all the couples standing in pairs in the evening glow. So, party time? You all grab glasses and begin to mingle. Girls, I'm so nervous about these speeches. I've never really done anything like this before. What should I say to her? Just be yourself? What are you scared of? Just imagine everyone in underwear. Just be yourself, Chelsea. That's great advice, princess. Gary looks good. Thank you for thinking that. Thank you for thinking Gary looks good. I appreciate it and he appreciates it. Thank you. Just listen to your heart and you'll be fine. My heart's all a flutter, loves. Have you seen the amazing picture? Have you seen that amazing picture where the feather is dissolving into a load of birds? My friend has a tattoo of that. I have not seen this picture. I have not seen this picture at all. After years of playing this game, I still have not bothered to look up whatever picture she's referring to. I used to have so many vinyl prints of it, babes. My clients loved having it on their walls. Anyway, that's how I feel. Like a wall print? Like my heart might just dissolve into thousands of tiny birds. Babes, let me help. Do you want to try my, my... No. Do you want to try any breathing exercises? It can really help if you're anxious. Um, sure. Okay. Make yourself comfy and place your feet roughly hip width apart. Easier said than done in this dress. You right, you wearing a body con, girl. Chelsea shuffles her feet into position. Now, let your breath flow as deep down into your belly as it is comfortable, but don't force it. Chelsea takes a deep breath. Try breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Count steadily to five. One. Lottie starts to laugh. Count in your head, babe. Chelsea nods. Then, without pausing or holding your breath, let it let it flow out gently, counting from one to five again. Are you making her do box breathing? Do this for a few minutes and you'll feel loads better, I promise. The girls are quiet for a while as Chelsea breathes deeply. Can I just say how beautiful we all? She's interrupted as a phone beeps. I guess I can't just say. There'll be plenty of time to say stuff in a second. Look. Lottie holds up her phone. Islanders, it's time to make your declarations of love. Each couple will stand under the arch and give their speeches. Chelsea and Lucas will go first. Hashtag reach for the speech. Hashtag say it loud. Chelsea, not Chelsea. <laughs> Lucas takes Chelsea's hand in his and they walk towards the center of the garden. All the islanders take seats at tables in the garden. Chelsea stops just before they reach the arch. Go on up there, babe. You can do it. Just breathe. She smiles at Lottie and walks over to the arch. Okay. Love this powder blue you got going on. Lucas takes his hand in hers and waits for her to start speaking. Lucas. I don't really know how to start telling you how I feel. Which is strange because I'm not normally lost for words. But that's what you do to me. One of the best quotes I have ever heard was, Love is what would happen if you set friendship on fire. And I think that captures what we have perfectly. You may not have been a couple for very long. She glances at Hannah and Henrik. Ooh. Okay. But we were friends first, and that means our relationship is built on such strong ground. 
Whenever I see you, I get those butterflies. But only for a second. As soon as we speak, I'm calm. And that's because I know I'm with a friend who supports me and wants to help me achieve the best that I can. And that feels more special than anything. She looks Lucas in the eye and he smiles at her. All the islanders applaud. Well done, babes. I knew you could do it. Gary leans over to you. What did you what did you think? Chelsea's speech was I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was beautiful. I'm not so sure. I mean, was it too mushy? Yes, because they're they're not a real couple, but I still thought it was beautiful. <laughs> but I love how whenever I'm a hater, Gary's like but when Gary's when I like something, Gary's like, mm, I don't know about that, Chief. I thought it was a bit much, to be honest. They've only been together about three days. <laughs> I mean, that's true, but still. Hope hears you whispering and puts her fingers to her lips. Bitch, if you don't mind your fucking business. Shh. Lucas clears his throat and starts to speak. You are such a perfect balance. What do you mean? Am I a perfect balance? If I am, a perfect balance of what? And if not me, who do you mean? I'm confuzzled. Today is the day. Gary and me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. We're both haters, but at different times. I'm gonna take a drink of my water. Was feeling a little parched. Lucas clears his throat and starts to speak. Oh, you're you're redeeming a stretch too? Okay. That was such a beautiful speech, babe. Thank you. Stretch. Okay. I have done the stretch. Everyone says that when you know, you know. And I don't think I've always believed that. I've been in a few couples since I came into the villa. Where? With who? When? How many couples have you been in? Let, let's look back. Let's play the tapes. So, I guess you were with Henrik and then you got voted off. So, I guess one couple. And then you came back in and I guess technically you were with Hannah, but you weren't. And so now you're a couple, like an official Love Island couple, but that's with Chelsea. So you've only been in, what, one couple? How many other couples do you think you've been in? Do you mean with me? Because we were never coupled up, Lucas. We were never coupled up, so you've only been in one couple. This is your longest couple. I need you to stop making shit up. And I kept thinking, I just don't know yet. I do love that they are pink and blue couple. Yeah, that's going to be me and Gil. <laughs> okay, no, okay. I like matching outfits. I'm so corny like that. I think they're so cute. And I have this dress and I bought Ian. Oh my God. Hold on. I'm trying to think. I bought him- what did I buy him? I bought him a shirt, sorry. I bought him a shirt and it matches mine and we went to, um, I think we went to Macy's one day and we were in like the baby section because I love looking at baby clothes because I love babies and there was a shirt. I was like, oh my gosh, this matches your shirt and my dress and we should get it for Jax and he said no. He said no. <laughs> I was like, we should take, we should take a family portrait, me, you, and Jax. And he was like, no. <laughs> but yeah, I love matching. I love matching with him. And I try to make us match sometimes. And then I bought us, I think it was for Valentine's Day this year. I bought us a couple shirt. And so his shirt says somebody. And then mine says somebody's problem. <laughs> and I just think. I just think I just love cute stuff like that. Definitely like adding little details, those pops of color to coordinate with my partner. Yeah, I think it's just cute stuff like that. Like, if you don't want to match with me, you're not for me. Because I love cute shit like that. Like, 
is it corny yes but do i enjoy it yeah and then people are like ew let me match with your partner like what do you mean this is my this is my mans this is my boo why would i not want to do stupid shit with them but then when i least expected it it turned out that the person i was looking for has been in the villa the whole time even when i wasn't I'm still not exactly sure why Chelsea p would pick me. Oh, because you were the last option. You two are the last single people, what do you mean? But I'm so glad she did, and I can't wait to find out what's next for us. Like, it's not like you can steal people. The only time you're allowed to steal someone else's partner is the very first episode, and then if you're a bombshell. That's the only time you're allowed to steal someone's partner. That was... A disaster. I hope Chelsea doesn't mind too much. I'm I am being a hater. You watch Chelsea and Lucas take their seats. Hannah checks her phone and stands up. It is hot as fuck in this house. Why is it so hot? Not him wearing the the jerk. Got that jean shirt on. Looks like we're next. She stands underneath the arch. Henrik faces her and smiles. This should be good. When I was preparing this speech, I joked with the girls that I was just going to quote some of my favorite books. You can be a hater of Lucas, free of consequence, because he doesn't truly exist anymore. Yeah, he's he's gone. He's not a main character. I mean, if Lucas had stayed in the beginning, this is him and Hen him and Henrik would like basically flip places, because one of them's like irrelevant, and then the other one's relevant, and the other one's like not is like back and forth it really depends on who you like want to couple up with you know when i was preparing the speech i joked with the girls that i was just going to quote some of my favorite books and i know henrik would have loved that because he's the only person in the villa who puts up with how much i talk about reading but in the end i decided i wanted to say something more personal i came back into the villa because i felt like i didn't get the chance to really be myself the first time around I was so focused on finding love that I forgot to find myself. And I'm grateful for a second chance. What do you mean? Why were you yourself the whole time, Hannah? If this was really you, then like, what the fuck were you doing? Cause now you're like Love Island potential. Before you were just some girl. You were just some girl before. Unfortunately, finding the right person for me meant someone else had to lose out. I've had it happen to me, and I understand how it must feel. Chelsea mutters something under her breath. <laughs> Chelsea, a real one. We should be talking shit right now about Hannah. We really should. But I'm so happy to have met someone so special. Being with Henrik is like being with a noble woodsman from an adventure story. And I can't wait to see his forest kingdom. What? Are you calling him Link? It's a nature park on the Isle of Wight? Is it white or wit? Who knows, I don't. Chelsea and you definitely need to talk shit about Hannah. I love seeing Chelsea be a hater. I also love seeing Chelsea be a hater, it's so funny. It's white, okay. She looks Henrik in the eye. Like honestly, I think Chelsea and Henrik would be cute together. Cause like he's really active and then she's not but i feel like they would balance each other out a bit and they're both like himbo bimbo kind of <laughs> and i think that's just that's a really cute like pairing they both have some puppy energy yeah that's that's exactly what i was looking for puppy energy himbo bimbo for sure yes you are my mr darcy my Jean Valjean, or is it Jean Valjean? Is it Jean Valjean? Who knows? And my Gatsby, all in one. I, I never read The Great Gatsby, but I Sparks note it. Like I Sparks note read it. Gatsby did not seem like a great person. Lottie looks confused. Is that a good thing? And I can't wait to write the next chapter of our story together. Girl, your chapter's ending after tomorrow. Henrik looks down at his feet. I'm... I don't know what to say. I think that was a bit much for him. 
Lottie turns to you. Did you like it? In a speech, she should be a writer. It's better than mine. She's such a milk. Tell me about it. Not me talking shit about Hannah with Lottie. Lottie, I thought you liked Hannah. I thought she was your bestie. Are we best friends again? Are we best friends again, Lottie? Can we talk shit again with, about people? I like it, though. It warms my heart to be around someone like her. And even I'll admit, I need a bit of that. Henrik carefully unfolds his paper and begins to speak. I'm obviously not the romantic one out of the two of us, so I'm just going to say how I feel. Hannah sees the world differently to the rest of us. And I think she's amazing for that. If it rains, I think, that's annoying. I won't be able to go for a run. But Hannah thinks it's the perfect moment to go outside and kiss. Can I admit something? I've always wanted to have, like, a kiss in the rain. <laughs> Like, I don't know, I've seen those movies and it looks so cute, but then I'm like, mm, my hair. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, it's like, cute kiss in the rain or get my hair wet. But now that I'm like bald, <laughs> I should stop saying I'm bald. I'm not bald anymore. I have hair on my head. But um, now that my hair is natural, I should say, I guess it's not that much of a thing. It's not, that, it's not that big of a thing anymore because when I was younger I permed the shit out of my hair because I hate I hated having my hair natural and I'm sure if I have my hair if I grow my hair out more I probably will get it permed again because I hate dealing with my hair in its natural state when it's long I like my hair when it's natural and short when it's long and natural it's a headache it's hot as fuck I pass out in the shower because it absorbs so much heat it's not it's not fun for me i have a lot of hair and it's thick it's thick hair i just said i piss in the rain no <laughs> a kiss k i s s not p i s s not henrik outing hannah as a neurodivergent is hannah neurodivergent oh oh okay yeah i get i understand what you mean when, she, when he said she doesn't see the world like the rest of us eh, i guess Hannah doesn't give off neurodivergent. She gives off neurotypical to me. But that's just me. You know what? No. I take that back. Hannah definitely has mental health issues. I'm thinking back to the first episode when she got mad at Marisol for like no reason. Girl, girl got issues. But Hannah thinks it's the perfect moment to go outside and kiss. Because what's more romantic than kissing in the rain? I mean, there's a lot of other things that are more romantic than that. But like... If I want to do, like, cute romance movie cliches, I definitely do want to kiss in the rain. Just once. Just once. True, everyone else could be neurodivergent, and he's, like, she's one of them typicals. <laughs> Henrik gives off um, neurotypical, but Chelsea, we all know Chelsea's neurodivergent. We all know. She's admitted it. She has ADHD. There's definitely something else wrong with her, though, and that's okay. I'm here for it. She's bestie. And she was right. I didn't even care that my hair got messed up. <laughs> Were you guys even here for the episode? The rain episode? I don't think Hannah even came back into the villa yet. What do you mean? Hannah makes me feel like everything is special. Even if it's just me telling her about different types of edible fungus. Ew. And I've never met anyone who makes me feel like that before. Hannah blushes and kisses him daintily on the lips. All the islanders applaud as they sit back down. I don't know if I got it at first, but they sound really happy together. Hannah and Henrik, they're not for real. Hannah hears you talking and frowns at you. What did you say, Gary? Me? It was... Not Gary gonna out me as a hater. You're supposed to take one for the team, Gary. Lottie's phone beeps. She grabs it and shows Bobby the screen. Come on, babe. We're up. <laughs> Why did she have to show him the screen? <laughs> she turns to you as she gets up. Wish me luck. Tell Lottie. You don't need luck. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm gonna smash it. You're the best, babe. I love you too, Lottie. 
I miss you, girl. Me, it was... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that's exactly how I look every day. Every day of my life. It's it's never me. It's always everyone else. <laughs> Lottie stands under the arch waiting for Bobby to stand opposite her. Her hand shakes slightly as she reads, me. Me. I think this is the first time I've seen her look nervous. I mean, it's not the first time I've seen her look nervous, but you know, okay. Bobby. If I had to pick the person I, I'd end up with in the villa on the first day we met, I wouldn't have picked you in a million years. I know we don't work on paper. I'm the only goth in the villa, and you're the only bloke I've ever met with cupcake print pajamas. But I've been with guys who were my type on paper, and it's never worked. With you, it's different. And that's what makes this so special. You've been my best mate in the villa from day one, and I never thought I would be so lucky as to couple up with my best mate. But now I can't imagine being with anyone else. That's a lie, Lottie. I know you're I know you're still secretly pining for Gary. I know. There's silence. Lottie blinks away a tear. And that's as emotion as you're ever going to see me. I hope you liked it. Babe, I loved it. Don't get used to it. She crumples her speech in her hand. I'll take over. Lottie, like, I blew it with everyone else. I gotta nail this. <laughs> Oop, you're supposed to be a hater. I mean, go Lottie, woo. I mean, me and Lottie, we're like best frenemies. We're best frenemies. I love Lottie. Just not in here. Like, outside of here, me and Lottie would be best friends. But in here, she's competition and she has to be eliminated. Frenemies, so true, exactly. This res The recipe for love is simple. Take one pinch of friendship, a dollop of respect for each other, and a generous helping of physical attraction. You guys have no physical attraction. Nah, I'm not gonna do the whole thing as a recipe. Even I'm not that corny. I will say this though. I know I clown around a lot and I don't take everything seriously. But I thought long and hard about how to do this speech because I wanted to get it right. And that's not because I really care about writing speeches. It's because I really care about you. You get my fun side, but you also make me want to take things seriously. Like meeting our like meeting your parents or thinking about the future. I haven't always done that, and it's because of you that I can. So I just want to say thank you for making me a better person. And I can't wait to see what happens next for us. Also, I'm totally going to bake you a cake when we get out of here. It's going to have like three tiers and there's going to be a little model of the villa made out of fondant icing. And the whole thing will be covered in edible glitter. Ooh, I want a, I want a slice. Because that's how I feel about our relationship. When we're together, it's like we're both covered in edible glitter. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean, Bobby? It's quiet as Bobby wraps his arms around Lottie and kisses her. Ew, fondant? No! I love fondant. Everybody hates fondant, but I love it. My aunt, she used to bake cakes, and she'd have fondant, and she would give me fondant. And I wanted to eat it all so much. It was so good. I... I'm an adult. You know what I can do? I can just buy myself fondant. I can eat it. I love this. I love this for me. You'll catch me. <laughs> Next stream, I'll be like on a sugar high because I bought myself like a shit ton of fondant. There's, there's quite as Bobby wraps his arms around Lottie and kisses her. Ew. Lottie and Bobby just gave their speeches. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna cheer for them. You cheer them on and everyone else joins in. Well done, guys. I mean, their speeches were really cute. I'm not gonna lie. They were really cute speeches. Whoop, whoop. You lot are sweet. You feel your phone vibrate and pull it out. Oop. What's the oop for? Princess, it's your turn to give your speech. Please stand underneath the arch facing Gary. This is it. This will be such a beautiful moment 
You smile to yourself as you think about your speech and Gary smiles back at you. You look happy. I am. I'm looking forward to your speech. <laughs> Not the pressure. You take your places under the arch and begin to speak. Gary, you are my one and only. Coming on Love Island has been such an experience for me. And one person in particular has really made that experience special. Kassam. You. I've never felt this way before. It took me by surprise at first, but now I don't want this feeling to ever stop. And the best part has been letting myself enjoy the way these feelings have grown. The first time I saw you, I knew we were made for each other. And I'm so happy that I was right. You look into Gary's eyes and he looks back at you. You make me feel like I can be myself. And I can't wait for our future together. I'm really looking forward to us moving in together. For real? I'd love that good. Because I'm moving in immediately. You pause again and catch your breath. Finally, I just want to say, I love you. I love you too. Gary takes your hands and holds them tight. Oh, so sweet. That was beautiful. Thank you. It was from the heart and it was totally you. I mean, if it was totally me, I definitely would have started with, hey, you. That would have been me, but you know. Some people need to need the dramatics, the flair. And that means I love it. He takes a deep breath. I'm not sure how I'm gonna live up to it, but here we go. I'm expecting something great, Gareth. Princess. I didn't ever think I'd be standing up here opposite someone like you. You look more incredible every day, and I don't understand how you do it. You're such an amazing energy, and you're always the first to get involved. And I love how strong and independent you are. You're living your best life. It's strange, but it's true that sometimes you don't know what you've got until it's gone. When the girls were away in Castle Amor, I realized that my life was always going to be better if you were in it. I don't know what the future holds for us, and honestly, I don't actually care. It's not about where we live or what we do. It's not even about winning the show for me anymore. I've already won because we're together and I can't think of a better way to show you how I feel than this. He steps, he steps towards you. Who if I stepped aside? No, I love Gary. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna embarrass him like that. Kiss him. You melt into the kiss, and the sounds of all your friends cheering and clapping fades away. Your speech was incredible. Thanks. That's what I was going for. I mean, it could have been better, but I loved it. I loved it either way because it was. It came from you, Gary. Kiss him. Exactly. Got kiss him. Thanks, that's what I was going for. He takes your hand and leads you back to your seat. Okay, Noah. I feel like those shoes don't really go with your outfit, but you know what? You're not my man, you're Hope's. Hope has already started speaking by the time you start paying attention again, damn. Damn. <laughs> Kassam. <laughs> and although I'm the loud one in the relationship, he's the loud one in bed secret message You're sending me secret codes when he's snoring anyway there's a ripple of laughter but most importantly he's the first person I've trusted so completely in any relationship I've been in that was a big mistake to do you should not have trusted him I tried to tell you hope but you didn't listen Noah if you're the calm to my storm I need to thank you for that I'll keep it simple. I've really enjoyed getting to know you and I'm excited to see where this goes. She gazes fondly at Noah before throwing her arms around him and hugging him. That was a good speech. Lottie liked Hope's speech. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> Lottie laughs. I don't blame you, babe. It's like, we get it. You two are a cute couple. Ooh. And this is why, this is why me and Lottie are still friends because she's a hater like me. Noah stands to speak. He looks nervous. Go on, mate. You all know me by now. 
I'm not the kind of guy who has loads to say. But when I do say something, I mean it. So this is all I'm gonna say. So all I'm going to say is this. Noah's outfit, what is this? Yeah, I feel like he could have done better. Hope and I have had a strange ride in here. And I'm making this face because I was with Noah not that long ago. It hasn't always been easy, but it's been worth it. I'm not gonna say we're the perfect couple or anything. That's not me. But Hope has given me the confidence to believe in myself and to go after what I really want. His eyes drift over to you for a second, and anyone would be lucky to be with her. And I hope she gets the chance to show that to the world. Hope takes his face in her hands. That was so beautiful. Not him writing that speech for me. Not him writing that speech for me, but saying it to Hope. I really done a number on him because I'm just so charming. I'm just so charming and beautiful and sexy. That was so beautiful. And short too. And <laughs> Gary. Don't know why I spent so long on mine because it was for me, Gary. That's why you spent so long on yours. Gary thinks his speech was too long. Especially with Hope's hot look. Noah looks like he's in a pajama top or something. Yeah, see, you are right that they did do the boys dirty. Usually the guys aren't dressing how the girls dress, and that's usually like just in real life too. You could have cut it down a bit, it's not about how long it is. Yours was beautiful too. Thanks, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever been that nervous. You've just spent a whole month on TV and giving a little speech was worse? So we've had the speeches, what's next for this prom? I mean, you don't usually give speeches at prom unless you're like the court, I guess. But you know, go off. I smell the smell. It smells like Chinese food, but I know it's not. I want Chinese food. Actually, we haven't had all the speeches yet. Oh, we haven't? I had a little time left after I wrote my speech, so I wrote one more. It's about the girls and how close we are. And also, it's a bit about princess. This is so sweet. So any of the girls could write this to you, so it's whoever has the highest friendship with you will, will say this speech to you. And because I didn't vote, um, because I decided to say Chelsea, um, Chelsea's giving the speech. But I feel like if I had saved Joe, Lottie would probably be giving me the speech right now. Yeah, I expected disappointment and Noah still failed. <laughs> Damn. She looks at you. Do you want to hear it? Of course, Chelsea wrote a speech about me. You know I love hearing about myself amazing she walks back up to the arch alone oh chelsea <laughs> i wasn't sure if i really wanted to do this it's the kind of thing where you have no where you have an idea but then it seems too mushy and i got really embarrassed even trying to write it down but i'm already glad i did because once again it's princess who has given me the confidence to stand up here and say what i want to say when i first came into the villa I was worried I wouldn't find the right person for me. Chelsea was worried about not finding a partner. We all worried about that. You didn't need to worry. Anyone is lucky to have you, Chelsea. Thanks, hon. You're so supportive. But what I didn't say was that I was just as worried about making friends. After all, the best bit about going on a date with a boy is getting together with your girlfriends to talk about him afterwards. Mm, I guess. Not really. Eh. I don't think I did that with Gil. At least I don't remember doing that with Gil. Talking about it. <laughs> Talking about my date that we had. I probably wrote about it in my diary, though, because I'm a sentimental bitch. Your hair matching, too? Yes, we're twins. We're twins. Chelsea's my sister from another mister. But actually, I shouldn't have worried about either of those things. I've been lucky enough to find not only a person I want to make a future with, but also some friends who I can't wait to have so many more adventures with. And that's especially true for Princess. Chelsea obviously reads your diary. <laughs> I mean, I, I probably would let her read my diary. I've definitely let Gil read my diary before. I've given him permission to do that. Just so he knows what he's getting, what he was getting himself into. <laughs> Just so he knows what kind of crazy I am. 
Even my rocking hair when things were tough, and I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you, and thank you to everyone here for making this experience so special for me. Oh, I gotta send you something after hearing that? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll look forward to it. She walks down the garden and flings her arms around you. Sorry, was that a bit much? Was Chelsea OTT? Never stop being yourself. As long as you're there to support me. From out of nowhere, music starts playing across the garden. Oh my gosh, time for the first dance. Coming up. Noah shows us his moves. Show us your moves. I knew that was a dan I knew there was a dancer under that quiet exterior. What do you mean? Bobby was literally talking about Noah twerking on tables the other day. Lottie gets wet. It is tradition. It's tradition to get wet? Okay. And one last couple is dumped. Keep your fingers crossed, babe. <laughs> the final cut. It's the Islanders' last evening in the villa. Who will make it to the final and who will leave tonight? Hydrate, okay. I hydrate. For the finale, the finale is tomorrow. The finale is tomorrow. The finale of the episode? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back to Love Island Prom. So there. Okay, song. Last time, the Islanders made some beautiful speeches. You make me feel like I can be myself. And that's all anybody wants, is to feel like they can be themselves. Hope's given me the confidence to believe in myself and to go after what I really want. And that's as emotion as you're going to, as you're ever going to see me. I hope you liked it. I mean, didn't we see you cry over like the Titanic being mentioned though? I'm not crying. It's just my allergies. What do you mean the grass is made of plastic? Coming up. The Love Island problem it gets down with it. It's time for a proper dance. And the tears flow again as one last couple is dumped. One last time I need to be. As the speeches finish, music starts drifting across the garden. OMG, it's time for the first dance. Gary holds out his hand. May I have this dance? Of course, sir. Gary wants to dance. I'd be honored. I don't think anyone said that to me until today. You're welcome. You're welcome. Have you ever asked someone to dance before? In a club, yeah. But that's more like, you know, the look. I don't know. I don't know. What's the look, babes? He winks at you and nods towards the dance floor. Was that wink his way of asking? Ask about the look. That's the look? Does it ever work? Are you guys coming to dance or what? Can I chat with my man in peace, Lottie? We'll come in, okay? Dance without us. I guess it did this time. Gary takes your hand and leads you to where everyone else is in position. The music swells and you can hear Hannah sigh happily. Gary leans into you and begins to move his feet. Do you remember the steps? Uh, remind me again? It's forward, left, back, left, right, feet together, spin. Forward, left, back, left, right, feet together, spin. Okay, got it. But you know what? We smashed it this morning. The other couples begin to twirl around you, the girls' dresses floating in the breeze. Gary starts to guide you, moving his feet in time with the music. Okay, the steps are up left, <laughs> up down left right B A. Okay, it's forward left back. You move in perfect harmony, gliding across the dance floor. This is incredible. You finish off the dance in a dream as Gary moves around you in practiced motions. 
Good thing we worked so hard at this 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 earlier. You finish the steps just as the music fades out, leaving you and Gary standing face to face in the evening light. And that's the dancing done. That was beautiful. I'm glad it's over. Kiss him. You lean in, and Gary wraps his arm around your back, pulling you closer. Your lips touch, and the moment is in interrupted when pulsing dance music starts playing. Aw, oh, yeah. The formal dance is done. Now it's time to get down. Noah wraps his arms around Hope. Come on, babe. It's time for a proper dance. Noah awkwardly shuffles his feet as Hope sways her hips. They try to find the right rhythm. Mate, I know you're a librarian and all, but surely you've got better moves than that. Finally, they find a groove together and all the islanders gather around them to dance in a circle. I knew there was a dancer under that quiet exterior. As everyone dances, Lottie pulls you aside. Princess, can I have a word? You want to talk to Lottie right now? Of course, hon, right now. Or we could have a dance. Of course. What's good? What's good, girl? Thanks. I just wanted to say... I just wanted to ask what the speech earlier was all about. I know you helped Kassam write it. Oh my gosh. Kassam didn't even... He didn't even give you the speech. Bobby gave you the speech. And Bobby didn't even do anything. I don't know. I felt like such a lemon standing up there. He got everything wrong. I don't know why you did that, but I know you did it on purpose. I felt humili humiliated in front of everyone. What are you talking about? Oh my god, girl. You're doing the most right now. She blinks back a tear, then turns and heads back to the dance floor. If anything, I gave him the right options to tell her. I'm so confused. Lottie's so mad he stole Gary from her that she broke the game to steal Kassam. I know what, that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Gary pulls you close as all the couples dance together. Isn't this incredible? This is how I want to remember our time here. Like I paid 17 gems just for the game to break, basically. And for Lottie to not be my friend anymore. Why is Twitch always sending me updates when I'm streaming? We've been easier to reward your community with jobs, campaigns, or auto adding. Auto adding. Okay. Automatically enable it for your channel. Click to view and adjust your settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that later. Thanks, Twitch. This is how I want to remember our time here. All of us as mates, all dressed up, having fun. Well, Lottie's not having fun. No dramas. Lottie's causing the drama. No drama, shall we make some drama happen? It's nice to finally chill. It's not over yet. Babe, don't kill my vibe. Listen, I'm being realistic here. The song changes and Lottie and Bobby move into the center of the dance floor. Lottie pushes Bobby to the floor with one finger and stands astride him. Wow, Lottie. I've never seen anyone... I've never seen someone do that move in real life. Bobby pops back up and takes Lottie's hand. She pirouettes gracefully underneath him. What is happening? I didn't know you guys could dance like that. What, you thought baking was my only skill? I've been trying to get Bobby to practice his rhythm. I've had to teach him a thing or two, but it's paid off. And not just on the dance floor. You know what I'm talking about, girls? Oh, okay, yeah, we get it, Lottie. We get it, you're, you're dirty. <laughs> the Islanders start to laugh. Go on, Bobby, good to hear you're putting in effort. It's not just about putting it in. That's what she... Lottie raises an eyebrow and looks at him. There's an awkward silence. Whoa. Time to take the party out. Time to take. Time to make the party happen. <laughs> Last one in the pool is a tuna melt. Before anyone can stop him, he sprints towards the pool and jumps in still fully dressed. Oh my days, what? Lottie shrugs her shoulders. It is tradition. And what's the point of wearing the best waterproof makeup all the time if I don't ever test it out? She kicks off her heels and dives into the pool. Yes, Lottie! Hope and Noah hold hands and jump in together. There is a loud splash and spray splashes on the lawn in front of you. I'm not jumping in the pool. I'm not. This is simply not what I would do ever. Like, I'll dip my feet in, but I'm not, I'm not jumping in there. Now with my hair looking like this. Are you guys coming or what? 
I'm up for it. You coming? You know what, Gary? You have fun. You have fun. I'm not getting these clothes wet, though. I know someone left a band-aid in there. Ew. <laughs> it was probably me. <laughs> it was probably me. I have band-aids on, like, all the time. I don't think I want to. Suit yourself. You watch as he jumps into the pool. After a second, his head breaks the surface and he blows you a kiss. The water's lovely. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you think it's lovely. I'm glad you're having fun, Gary. I'm having fun watching you have fun. All around you, the islanders are laughing and splashing each other. Guys, guys, check it out. We made it. We had our summer of love. I mean, I had my summer of whoring, but yeah, I did find love too. And the adventure has only just begun. Lottie wipes wet hair back from her forehead. I honestly didn't think I would get this wet. Okay. Okay, Lottie. After that soaking, all the girls have headed to the dressing room to dry off. I hope we still got some production budget left. With all those hair dryers going, our electric bill is going to be massive. <laughs> Not a smug emote. You are hit with a gust of hot air as soon as you open the doors to the dressing room. The noise of four hair dryers on full blast is deafening. What? What? No, what did you say? I said, what did you say? Oh my word, you guys. She grabs a hair dryer from Hannah's hand and turns it off. It's probably easier to talk if you're not all shouting over each other anyway. You might have made the right choice, princess. I did. I'm always right. You're the only one who doesn't need to spend ages drying off. I can't believe we all just jumped in the pool like that. I've never done anything like that before. It was like something out of a film. That's not true. You did that when you were trying to play games with me and Gary. I know I know all about you, Hannah. I see you. I see you. I've said this many times before. Pick me, sees pick me. I see you. Babes, you need to get out more. Did you ever did you never go skinny dipping when you were a teenager? Isn't that like the exact opposite of what we just did? I've never went skinny dipping. And I don't plan on it, because I don't want any, you know, bacteria or amoebas, you know? I don't, I don't want anything that's going to kill me. I'm very sensitive to life. Yeah, can't relate, Lottie. See, Lottie's just a wild child. Isn't that like the, yeah, okay, right, but Lottie. Girls, does anyone have a hairbrush I could borrow? Um, what are you wearing? What? My prom dress was soaked. I'm not putting that back on. I figured the party was over, so I might as well get comfy in my PJs. The prom might be over, but I don't think we're going to bed just yet. See, Chelsea, Chelsea's smart. Chelsea's smart. I would have done the same thing. Think about it. How many couples are left? Chelsea looks around. Well, there's me and Lucas. You and Bobby. Princess and Gary. Hannah and Henrik. And Hope and Noah. So, five couples. And how many make it to the final? Four, right? Oh. One couple is going home tonight, aren't they? You didn't see it coming? I guess I was just having so much fun, I forgot all about it. I know what you mean. I felt like this was going to last forever. Lottie switches off her hairdryer and there's quiet in the room. But that's why it was so special. It was our last night all together. Hope's phone beeps. No prizes for guessing what this is going to be. She holds it up. Islanders, it's time to find out which couples have made it to the tomorrow's Love Island final. Please gather around the fire pit. Hashtag in it to win it. Hashtag five becomes four. You would be ready to chill. I think I read that comment already, but also, yeah, same. I would also be ready to chill. You know what the worst bit about this is? What? I've got to get changed again. Chelsea's me. Chelsea's me for real, for real. I suppose I should too. I don't want to be the only person in my smart clothes if everyone else has changed. Your smart clothes? You mean the free outfit? 
okay girl um you know what i'm gonna save i'm gonna save my clown outfit for the final what says what says final girl though is it this one is it this one i like this one i'm gonna go with this one we're going with this one in love with chelsea right now she won my heart last love island stream and she's keeping it i i love chelsea she's really annoying but like in a fun way <laughs> all dressed up and ready to it's not exactly gonna be a party is it i mean it could be it could be a party i wonder if lottie will let me kiss her <laughs> i wonder if she'll let me kiss her because we've been like Apparently, I hurt her feelings for no reason, and I don't, I don't know why I didn't do anything. Gary's waiting for you outside the villa. His, He wraps his arm around your waist. The outfit looks great, princess. Thanks, Gary. It's been such a big day. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I keep thinking about how we're so close to the final. How are you feeling? Someone's about to go home. I think we'll get to the final. I'm not very confident. It doesn't matter to me. I think we'll get to the final. Actually, so do I. I didn't want to say it in case you weren't feeling it, but we're going to smash it. We are. We're 100% going to smash it. He squeezes your hand as you walk towards the fire pit. All the other couples are lined up when you arrive. Hey guys, how are you feeling? Nervous, to be honest. I mean, I'm not nervous, but you know, go off. I can't believe we've all got this far. And now we have to lose someone at the last hurdle. My nan always told me that it doesn't matter which team wins as long as it's not Millwall. I know she'd love to see me up there in the final, but I know she'll be more happy that I found the perfect girl. Lottie's I feel strange around you and I don't know why vibes is giving sapphic realizations to me. You mean her feeling strange around me or just like strange in general? Also, Lottie is definitely bi. Lottie's bi. Your nan sounds like such a good person. She is. Unless you're a Millwall fan. A phone beeps. Why are we talking about sports? I got a text. That's one that's one thing about me. I don't sport. I don't care about sports. I stopped caring about sports in fifth grade when I tried out for the basketball team and the coach made me cry. She starts to read. Islanders, the public has been voting for the couples they would most like to see in the Love Island final. It's now time to reveal the results. You know what? That's not entirely true. I stopped caring about sports after I was the only one to not make the softball team in eighth grade. That's when I really stopped caring about sports. <laughs> you know what? You know what's so fucking shitty about that? I was there on all the tryout days, right? And then one one girl she showed up one day she missed all the rest of the days and then she showed up the last day and she made the team <laughs> and i was like you know what fuck this and then um, i feel i feel like i told this before but then the coach pulled me into his office and he was like if you want to continue softball in high school this is what you have to do and i was like i'm not though i'm going to an arts high school i only did this because my friend wanted to join and i was like you know what It'd be fun to like be able to hang out with them <laughs> after school, but in, like there's no point in me doing that. Like I'm not gonna participate in softball. I don't want to do this. I want to be an actor. <laughs> I hated PE especially because the cis boys were so violent for no reason. They threw balls ready to kill. I also hated PE. I hated PE for different reason that you did, but I hated PE all the time. Tryhards really? Yeah, I. Everything about PE physical activity was not for me it wasn't for me if i want to get in shape be healthy i'm gonna do it on my own time when there's no one else around and that's what i did like 10th grade i dropped all of my baby weight in 10th grade <laughs> and it was it was it was a different experience because then the boys started talking to me so like i wasn't chubby anymore <laughs> Islanders, the public have been voting for couples they would most like to see in the Love Island final. It's now time to reveal the results. By the way, when I mean that, it's like being chubby is not a factor in saying whether or not you're attractive. By the way, it's just that's how like kids think, you know, and some adults think like that, too. But that's like not good thinking and you should probably change your perspective on how you see people. 
PE teacher in high school was cool because he'd let people pass with a C if they didn't want to participate. Good for him. I um, almost failed my PE class in high school. <laughs> like, I'm so glad we only had to take it for one year because the Lord knows, the Lord knows I would not have made it through high school if I had to take PE all four years of high school. I would not have done it. I passed with a D and that's good enough for me bars oh my gosh look at me islanders the public have been voting for the couples they most like to see in the love island final it's now time to reveal the results in no particular order the first couple who will be in tomorrow's final is their silence the text tone echoes around the fire pit lottie hurriedly pulls out her phone noah and hope noah looks surprised he glances your way before turning to hope Babe, we made it. I'm speechless. They kiss and sit down together on the bench. All the other Islanders applaud. No one hope made it. I'll, I'll clap politely. You clap gently, waiting for the applause to die down. Don't be too enthusiastic. What do you mean? I'm just playing. I know it's hard to be happy for them when we're not safe yet. Yeah, it is hard, isn't it, Gary? Hannah's phone beeps and she immediately pulls it out. The next couple who have made it to the tomorrow's final is... There's silence. Everyone waits for the next message. Hope's phone beeps. I'll do the honors. Chelsea and Lucas. Hannah, not Hannah, oh my god, Chelsea's jaw drops. The two of them stand still for a second. Are you serious? We made the final? I've never won anything since I did sports day in primary school. And that was a prize for trying. My egg fell off the spoon halfway down the track and it smashed and I cried. Chelsea, you're so me coded for real. Maybe all you needed was a great partner to help you. We would have been amazing at that three-legged race. Lucas wraps his arms around Chelsea in a hug, and they sit down next to Noah and Hope. Gary leans over to you. What do you make of that? Chelsea and Lucas are, to they totally deserve it. Everyone just feels sorry for Chelsea. <laughs> it's true. That makes sense. They aren't the best couple, are they? I suppose there is still time for us. You look around at the three couples still standing. Lottie and Bobby, Hannah and Henrik, and you and Gary. And then a text rings out around the fire pit. Noah checks his phone. Keep your fingers crossed, babe. The next couple to make it to tomorrow's final is... Gary holds his breath. Chelsea pulls out her phone. Princess and Gary. Babe. We made the final, what <laughs> if I ran around screaming? <laughs> I'm gonna kiss Gary. You turn to Gary and pull him in for a kiss. As your lips meet, the emotion crashes over you like a wave. We did it. He pulls away and looks into your eyes. Feels like, feels like a moment that should come with fireworks. Gary puts his arm around you and you sit down. Two couples are still standing in front of you. Lottie and Bobby, and Hannah and Henrik. One of these couples is about to get dumped. Here we go. Noah and Hope, Chelsea and Lucas, and Princess and Gary. The public have voted to send you to tomorrow's final. Now it's your turn to decide. In your couples, please vote for either Lottie and Bobby or Hannah and Henrik. The couple who receives the most vo votes will join you tomorrow as Love Island finalists. The couples with the fewest votes will be dumped from the island immediately. Oh, you gotta pick? That's so mean. You love it? Honestly, I love it too. What? Are you serious? You look at Lottie and Hannah, and they look at each other. You have to decide between them. I don't want to do this. I know who I'm choosing. Why not send both couples home? No. 
when I when I'm a bitch, when I play as a bitch, I love picking the last option because it's very funny watching them get mad at you. But I'm gonna say I don't want to do this. I'm gonna keep it amicable. Lottie smiles wearily. I don't really want you to either, but someone's gotta decide, I suppose. And I'd rather it was you guys. Are she, is she still mad at me because she thinks that I sabotaged her? You know what's better than anyone else? Hannah looks at her. I don't think anyone knows me as well as you do, hon. If I have to lose to someone, I'm glad it's gonna be you and Bobby. For real? Of course. After everything we've been through, I know how much you two deserve it. I would've said the same about you. Seeing you come back in here strong was literally one of the best bits of this whole experience. I was so proud of you in that moment. Even though I knew I was gonna have to face up to you, it's been such a journey for me. I'm happy just to be here. Babes, you're gonna make me cry. Can we can we carry this along, please? I'm I'm tired. She grabs Hannah and hugs her tightly. I'm gonna miss you so much. They hold on to each other for a moment, then stand in front of you, holding hands. Bobby and Henrik look at each other and shrug. Why? You guys are, um, hand twins. You're king and king of the villa. Don't you remember? You're not gonna have a special little moment? You know you've got the hard decision to make, but honestly, it's fine. You all go and decide. I don't even care who you vote for. That was amazing, you guys. You know, none of us want to do this, but I guess we have to. Gary looks at you. Shall we? He takes your hand and leads you to a quiet corner of the garden. To the daybeds, it is. Gary sighs heavily as he sits down. This is big, isn't it? My head is a mess. I don't know what to think. We're through the final, but we have to decide who's coming with us. And that means someone has to leave tonight? Should we be celebrating or crying? It's a lot to take in. We should be happy we made it. I'm torn about losing someone. Let's just get through this bit. We should be happy we made it. We should be happy we made it, Gary. Let's be, let's just be happy we made it, okay? It's sad that someone has to go, but in the end, it's you and me I care most about. I don't think I can see it that way. I'm too gutted about losing our friends. Gary, listen, you can give me all the negative brownies you want, but you know I'm right, okay? You know I'm right. A cold breeze drifts across the lawn and he shivers. So, we've gotta figure out some way to make this decision. What are you thinking? How should, how should we decide who to save? I don't know what I wanna do, we should talk through it together. I want you to decide. We should talk through it together. Okay, well, it feels like Hannah and Henrik deserve it to me. Why? Why do you feel that way? It's been incredible seeing Hannah come back into the villa and take her shot at happiness. Plus, Lottie's not exactly the easiest person to be around, is she? And it's also about that, really, isn't it? Who do you want standing beside you when they announce the results? You hear voices and look up to see Lottie and Hannah still standing and chatting at the fire pit. No and Hope are walking back to join them. Looks like No and Hope are done already. We'd better get on with it then. As so what I think you should make the final call. You pull out your phone and start to write. Gary watches over your shoulder. The couple I want in the final is I I honestly would prefer Lottie and Bobby because I feel like I honestly feel like they deserve it more. But Gary doesn't want Lottie here, so we can send her ass home. We wouldn't say Hannah and Henrik. You hit send. If it's about winning, Lottie's more of a threat. I guess. But who's gonna vote for their little friendship couple? No, all we have to do is go back there and face them. But glad to see Hannah go. I mean. Gary really wants Lottie to go on, and I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you, babes. Chelsea and Lucas arrive at the fire pit at the same time as you. All good, babes? Not exactly, but what can you do? It's actually been really nice to have a few mo minutes alone with Lottie. 
we said what we needed to say to each other. I mean, you guys could have had several minutes alone with each other this whole time since you've been in the villa. But I guess you just chose not to say that. Mm, interesting. The same couple stand around the fire pit facing Lottie and Hannah. And what about you guys? He points to Bobby and Henrik. Just waiting for the results, really. I'll be gutted if I go, but you all knew it had to happen. I don't know reality TV like this is based on. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, so what you're saying is you've never seen Love Island. Song. If you want to watch Love Island with me, all you have to do is say so. <laughs> No, okay. So when me and Gil first started dating, I made him watch um, the first season of Australian Love Island with me. Because it was messy. I never finished the season, but it was messy. And it was just... It's such a... Love Island is such a good reality TV show. But I don't like the American version of Love Island. Like, it's not that different from regular Love Island, which originated in the UK. It's just that something about the way americans are <laughs> it just just doesn't feel right for love island but then sometimes when you're watching love island and it's like a different country you're like what the fuck are they saying like there was this one girl and i think it was like a few years ago she was in she was on love island and she was really pretty she kind of looked like kendall jenner but her accent was so ugly to me <laughs> and i feel so wrong to say but like her accent did not match her at all and it was like i can't and then she started being annoying too she started being really annoying i was like i can't with her so i was like one your accent's whack two you're annoying i was like i'm done get off get off the show i'm so glad i'm so glad when she got voted off strong accent it wasn't that her accent was strong like i could understand her but it was like the way she spoke like i don't know how to hmm okay song i don't know if you know but like northern american accents but there's like a new york accent and there's like a new jersey accent and then depending on where you are in new york there's different like accents within that so like a brooklyn accent is different than like mm, i'm trying to think hmm it's different than, like, a Harlem accent, obviously. But, like, if you take those, like, the accent is, it's a New York accent. But, like, the way they speak is different. You know what I mean? I, I'm really bad at describing things. I'm so sorry. But it's just, like, the way she was speaking, I was like, I can't, I don't vibe with how she speaks. So, like, it just really did not fit her. <laughs> Hope she's doing well. She probably is because she's a model. She's gorgeous. I'll be good if I go, but we all knew it had to happen. There's no shame in not making it if you get this far. You feel your phone vibrate. Looks like I'm doing the honors. Here we go. You pull your phone out and begin to read. Islanders, the votes have been counted. The final couple joining you in tomorrow's final is... The text stops there. There's silence. Then a phone beeps. Chelsea pulls out her phone. Hannah and Henrik. Oh. She hugs Henrik shakily, then waves her hand in front of her eyes. She blinks back tears. Babes, you made it. I don't know if I'm happy for us or sad for you guys. It's okay to be both. Hug Lottie, hug Hannah, hug Bobby, hug Henrik. We're gonna hug Lottie. You run and throw your arms around Lottie. I'm gonna miss you so much. Me too, babes. Oh, are we cool again? Are we cool again, Lottie? <laughs> Surprised she didn't like shove me off of her. Like, you fake ass bitch. A phone beeps and Lottie slowly pulls out her phone. For the last time then. Guys, I've got a text. Lottie and Bobby, your car is waiting. Please get ready to leave the villa. 
that's our cue. I better get my, I better go pack my bags. She walks toward the bedroom, then turns to look at you. Princess, will you help me pack? I've got a couple of things I want to say. This might be my last chance to spend alone time with Lottie. They didn't hesitate. <laughs> the fuck out. I mean, yeah. I'll be right there, babes. We're gonna go help Lottie. Let me message Ack real quick. So he can say goodbye to his girl. I want to make sure he's here. He's He might be here, but he might be like working. I want to make sure he gets this. I don't want him to miss it. You're gonna catch up with her as she walks away. Lottie is throwing things into her suitcase when you walk into the room. Her eyes are red and her makeup is smudged. So so long for that like waterproof makeup you were hyping up. Smudged that easily. She seems upset. <laughs> Do you need a hand? Are you okay? Why'd you ask me to help? Are you okay? She sniffs gently. I'm fine. Thanks for asking, though. I just wanted to be with a friend right now. Was that what we are? Friends. Good to know. I really, really appreciate you coming with me. She stops packing for a minute and dabs away smudges with mascara. I'm fine, honestly. It just hit me all at once. I'm so disappointed I couldn't make it to the final. What should I say to her? The final isn't a big deal, you're leaving with someone. Uh, at least you made it this far. What, like you think I might have just gone home earlier? With these looks? She frowns at you. What? I didn't mean it like that. I did not mean it like that. Thanks for helping me look on the bright side. She sighs and suddenly wraps her arm around you in a hug. Ugh, sorry, I'm such a mess. I just want to say, your friendship has meant so much to me in the villa. I don't think I would have had such a good time if it wasn't for you. Thank you. I really mean that. Okay. So then all the other bullshit you were just spouting earlier. We're cool? We're cool? We're good? You can come to my wedding with Gary? You sure? Okay. She leans back from the hug and looks into your eyes. Are we... Are we having a moment? Can I... Kiss you? She nods gently. Lesbian moment. You lean into her and kiss and kiss. You lean into her and close your eyes, letting your lips touch. She hesitates for a second, and then you feel her lips open slightly as she kisses you back. For a moment, your entire world your entire world is focused on her. Her eyes snap open. Whoa. What was that? I don't know. I thought we were having a moment. Babe, we totally were. I just don't know where it came from. When you asked, I wanted to say something like, I didn't know you felt like that. But actually, I didn't know I felt like that. And I can't believe it took me so long to find out. What is this about Lottie leaving? Oh, you're finally here. We just kissed. We just kissed Ak. <laughs> I can't believe it took me this long to find out. There's a shout from outside the bedroom. I, you knew she was sapphic? Of course I missed that. I messaged you. I messaged you to make sure you were here. <laughs> Stupid work. You were joking about the realization? I wasn't. I 100% told you guys there's a moment. If we were on the Gary route, then Lottie gets sent home. And not because of me specifically. Like I could have said, I could have voted for Lottie to say, but they still would have sent Lottie home. You hate this game. <laughs> There's a shout from outside the bedroom. I'm sorry you hate it. I hate it too at times. You, sorry, I just kicked at my grandma's like desk. You missed it though. Ak, Kasam had came back. Kasam came back, and then Lottie yelled at me. Because I apparently gave her wrong information about Kassam and something like that. But, like, I didn't. I gave Kassam all the good information. And she was like, you're being a fake asshole. 
are you ready babe everyone's waiting and she cried and i'm like what the fuck why didn't you do anything wrong okay i need to hurry up sorry to kiss and run but i've got to get ready to go maybe we should pick this up again later i'll see you outside in a bit she turns away and hurriedly throws more clothes into her suitcase Lottie, this is as far as it's gonna go because I am with Gary. We are official. I just wanted to be a lesbian for a little bit. All the islanders are gathered in the doorway. Bobby stands next to his suitcase and Mom's looking at his watch. By the way, when I say lesbian, I don't mean that as like a, a term, like derogatorily. I am pansexual in real life. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Just saying, like, lesbian moment, just, it just seems fun. It just seems fun for me. <laughs> Sapphic. I don't know, I kind of want to be a lesbian sometimes. Sometimes I'm just like, you know what? What if I just want girls? But then I have Gil, and I'm like, you know what? That's my man, I'm gonna stick beside him. Because I love him. Bobby says next to his suitcase and mine is looking at his watch. I'm glad this isn't a hotel. We'd be paying for late checkout by now. Lottie comes hurrying in from the bedroom, pulling her suitcase behind her. It takes me longer than you, you know that. And I don't just mean in the bedroom. What did you even have to pack? Ten pairs of boxers and the same shirt you always wear? I mean, can you talk though? You wear the same thing all the time too. I'm not surprised it only took you five minutes. I don't think Bobby is, um, having secret kisses with Gary behind my back like we were, so that could explain it why it didn't take him as long i bet none of it's folded either mate you haven't even left the villa yet and you're already in trouble what if though what if that definitely would make me feel better about kissing lottie because i definitely just cheated on gary <laughs> sorry guys i'm just venting because i'm sad to be leaving i'm not gonna do a big speech or anything i've already said what i need what i need to Han i already said what i needed to to hannah and to princess she blushes and winks at you. Oh, I got her blushing? Ooh. So I'm just gonna say that it's been amazing getting to know all of you. If I was Gary, I would be more than okay with that. <laughs> of course you would. Of course you would, Ak, because you're strange. When I first came to the villa, I felt like I was the girl with attitude. And I like that about myself. I think girls with attitude are sexy. Same. So does Bobby, apparently, and so does Gary. But I also know that I meant I. I also know that meant I wasn't the easiest person to get on with. And I really feel like I've learned something from being here. Now I'm leaving. I think I know what it means to look out for each other and what girl code is really about. Gary, <laughs> Gary X Bobby coming in hot. Stop this. <laughs> so thank you and good luck. You know what? If I were to put Gary with anybody, I think I would put him with Ibrahim. Gary, Ibrahim, I ship it. So thank you and good luck. You all made it to the Love Island final and you should be proud. You're such a sweetheart. Lottie looks at Bobby. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Let me just say one thing first. Silence falls over the group as everyone turns to look at Bobby. His face brightens into a grin. Well, friends, the time has come. And if you thought I'd go down without a properly without a properly epic farewell speech, you haven't been paying attention. Oh boy. See, that's where you're wrong, Hope. When I came into the villa, I was a boy. So Gary and I kissed. I mean, maybe. I just wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if Ibrahim and Gary shared a moment. That's all I have to say. Gary and Bobby, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too surprised. I'd be a little shook, but not too surprised. But if Gary and Noah got together, that'd be that'd be surprising. I don't see them ever being together. Doing impressions, talking about toes, which for all the single ladies watching this right now was totally a joke, just FYI. Keep telling yourself that baby cakes. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, right. I'm not a boy, but not yet a man. Man. A man, man? I need an extra syllable, alright? 
Now, if you'll let the poor man-man finish his speech speech, that would be great. I feel like he should have done great, great. Because you know the rule of three? But he kind of messed up the flow. He kind of messed up the flow. Coming in here changed me. And yeah, sure, at the end of the day, I didn't find love. But I'll be coming out as trans, whoa. <laughs> what if? I feel like Bobby would be a pretty girl. I think he really would be a pretty girl. They were doing that on the subreddit. <laughs> they were yesifying everybody on the subreddit, and it was so funny. When the game first came out and everything. But that was all part of the lesson. Maybe I'm not ready for a relationship. Maybe I still have things to work through for myself. And I think I've grown as a person just for realizing that. I always figured you were a grower, mate. Stop this, Gary. Stop this. I won't ask how you know that. But yeah, let's say I've grown at least a little bit. See, Gary knows that that Bobby's a grower and not a shower. Yeah, he knows. He probably does. He's probably been peeking. I mean, I was Judge Bobby, wasn't I? Barely. I was co-king of the pillow fort. Even if it did have a weird love shack in it. Bobby smiles again, but his eyes have started to glisten. He pauses, wiping a finger beneath each one. His voice breaks. So, this is it. This is, this is it then, eh? Oh my gosh, Bobby. Lottie runs over and throws her arms around him as he struggles to hold back from crying. Poor Bobby. Even as he leaves the villa, he's still trying to make us laugh. He's right, he wasn't ready. When it comes down to it, we're here to find love and he didn't do that. It's sad, but that's just the way things are. Not me being a bitch, like always. Bobby squeezes Lottie and kisses her on the forehead. I'm okay. Promise. It's just harder than I thought that's what she said mate my man they bump fists the others move in to hug him eventually he comes up to you I should say something before he goes you'll find love You're really milking this don't forget about us you know when you're a famous baker and all are you kidding me you guys are the best friends I've ever had he takes your hand oh it's take, taking my hand? Why is he taking my hand? He calls him my man because Gary's his man. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm done with you. Are you saying we're all poly? This is like a big open poly relationship? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is because I'm also dating Kassam. So I, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'm not forgetting any of you. Not now, not ever. He gives you a sad smile. Just do something for me, princess. Okay? What? He leans over, whispering in your ear. Win. Before you can say anything, he steps away from you with a knowing smile and grips the handle of his suitcase. See you on the other side. Ready? Ready. They join hands in the doorway, framed by the light of a moon, the light of a full moon. Interesting. Interesting, it's a full moon and Lottie got voted off. Interesting. They walk out of the drive and down they walk out of the drive. They walk out of the door and down the drive. Oh my gosh. Lottie turns her head and blows a kiss at you as she walks away. Ooh. The door closes with a bang and there's silence. Guys. Yeah? We're in the love island final! Your little dog, I know it's a cat, it's a cyber cat, but it looks like a little dog to me. Little Scotland Terrier. And that's what it is. That dog, that dog, that cat is now a Scotland Terrier. It's a ghost Scotland Terrier. All the finalists are chatting when you walk in. Chelsea hands you a cup of tea. I don't want this. Get me a margarita. We're here to party. I think the final is going to be amazing. There's going to be like huge party and all our friends and family will be there scotland is in a space is in space so that makes sense is it is scotland in space since when 
Who launched Scotland in space? That means Bobby's there, because he's from Scotland. I hope all the people we've met in the villa are there. I hope not. Hannah kind of rolls her eyes. Yeah, I can't wait to see Rocco again. I wouldn't mind seeing Blake again. She was cool. Excuse me? I'm joking, babe. He's not joking. He's not joking, because he knows that now that I'm not with Gary, he can hook up with Blake, who's basically, like, Walmart me, you know? You know what, guys? It's been a long day. I think I'm going to go to bed. I actually might do the same. I think I might stay up for a while, if anyone, if anyone else wants to. I want to take some time to appreciate this moment. Sure thing, babe. I'll keep the bed warm for you. Should we stay up? Or should we go to bed? What's the plan, guys? What's the plan? Should I do a poll? It's only two of you in here. <laughs> so, just tell me. Tell me what you want me to do. We can stay up. Or we can go to bed. We can do the Noah scene, even though we're done with Noah. Or, no. What do you want to do? Talk to Noah? <laughs> okay. I'll stay up for a bit. Alright, babe. I'll see you in a bit, then. Okay. Hi, Gary. We watch the other islanders finish their tea and drift off to bed. Eventually, it's just you and Noah. Shall we head up to the roof terrace? There's nothing up there for us. It's so beautiful up there. There's nothing up there for us. Noah sits down on the bench. He waits for you to sit next to him and then wraps a blanket around you both. Ooh, no, don't do that. I'm so tired, princess. Really? Are you going to sleep soon? You guys can see Bobby take a rocket to his homeland. <laughs> explain to explain to me why Scotland is in space. I need to know. No, I mean, mentally tired. I've been thinking about you and me and how I feel about you. Noah? I'm confused, princess. I don't want to hurt Hope, but you're exactly my type. I know, I'm everybody's type. I mean, when I first saw you, I really fancied you, but then I also really fancied Hope. And the more we've been getting to know each other, the more I think we're made for each other. It's just geography. I don't know the history of it. <laughs> okay. And now I start dreaming about what it'd be like to have you in my arms. Then I wake up, and I see Hope, and I feel terrible about it. I can't stop it anymore. Noah's hands are trembling, his shoulders rounded as he shifts closer to you. He reaches for your hands. Oh, princess, help me. What am I supposed to do with this feeling? Get rid of it. Noah wants me, what should I say? Let's make your dream come true. I like seeing, I like seeing you suffer a little. Why don't you go ask Hope? Don't be like that, this is really difficult. I don't want to hurt her, or you. Then stop hanging out with me. I just can't help it. See, I'm telling you, this man ain't shit. <laughs> this man ain't shit. Noah gently takes your chin in the crook of his finger. You feel the heat of his breath as he leans in to kiss you. Um, if we kiss now, there's no way we don't end up going further. I'm putting a stop to this once and for all i need him to know it's not gonna happen i want gary and kazam you pull away this is ridiculous noah you're already in a relationship this is what this isn't what i want you stand and go back inside leaving him behind without another word our time in the villa is almost over it'd be cruel to tell hope something like this now so i won't he could be cracking on like this behind Hope's back with all the girls. Could you imagine <laughs> that Noah's the biggest player on Love Island? The dressing room is empty by the time you come in. Looks like everyone else has already settled down. I guess I should get ready for bed. I'm gonna wear this. It's always the quiet ones. You mean me? <laughs> I'm quiet. 
not when I'm streaming, but in real life when I'm not streaming, I'm I'm shy. The lights are off in the bedroom by the time you get there. <laughs> As a quiet one. <laughs> you can hear Gary breathing softly in your bed. He must be asleep already. You slide in next to him, pulling the covers over you, and let yourself start to drift off. What a day. And there you have it. Your Love Island finalists are No One Hope, Chelsea and Lucas, Hannah and Henrik, and Princess and Gary. But out of those four couples, only one can win the biggest prize of all. Next time, it's the final. Do I even need to say anything else?